Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And this article, this older article, comes from T-Mobile's newsroom. I will leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. So I wanted to talk about this again. So yes, we recently got word from the FCC that they're denying the request for higher power limits from the satellite. But from what I was told, apparently... If SpaceX, Starlink, and T-Mobile agree to launch the service at the recommended power levels by the FCC, then this service should be able to launch later this year. Now, I have, you know, Elon, he put out a statement uh, not too long ago. I was reading some of the comments. I want to make it clear again because I saw uh, a few people comment that they recently switched to T-Mobile and they're they're patiently waiting on the service. This is not meant to replace native terrestrial cellular coverage. This is a band-aid at best. If you're in an area that is off-grid that has no cellular native coverage, this can help you perhaps send a text do a little bit of calling and maybe, maybe at the end of it, when this is fully launched and matured, maybe do a data session. And those data sessions are not going to be anything remote, remotely close to what you can do on a native network. You're not going to be able to game. You're not going to be able to do 4K. You might be able to squeeze in an email. You might be able to do a video at 144p or 240p. This is not, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a cellular replacement or a cellular tower replacement. I want to make that very clear in this video. And I'm sticking to that. I mean, you, there's nothing that you can tell me to, to change my mind. Uh, Starlink would have to deploy densification and thousands of of those Falcon 9 satellites to maybe give you 10 megabits per second access. They would have to densify beyond anything that this service is meant to do. And I don't think Starlink or T-Mobile are going to be willing to, to pay what it's, what it's going to require to make that happen. So this is literally a band-aid, a fill-in. If you're on a mountain where no native network exists, it's off-grid, this will help you send a message in an emergency. You're not going to even be able to have like continuous back-and-forth text messaging. It's going to take too long. This is a, hey, I made it. I'm at the top of the mountain. I'll see you when I get down. That's it. That's all this is meant for. It's not meant to replace terrestrial cellular coverage. Want to make that clear. Do not switch to T-Mobile because of this service. Yes, it will kill all of T-Mobile's dead spots. But when you are in an area using the service, you are not going to see a service like you would on a native network. It's, it's not going to happen. No way, no how, no sir, no ma'am. Not, it's not going to work that way. Not going to happen. So again, I want to make that clear for you guys, the ones that follow me, maybe some of you that are new to this video. This is not a replacement for terrestrial cellular coverage. So sorry if the audio is off. I had a, I had a, a procedure done at the dentist. Uh, but let me know in the comments. Uh, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See you all in the next one. Peace.